Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways DLC. Now, you guys know how much I gushed over the original base game when it first came out. So let me just uh, say this straight up. The DLC is awesome, it's perfect. Uh, if this shipped with the base game, then my goodness. I mean, the, the base game is already... It's already awesome as it is. So imagine having the 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 separate ways uh, aspect uh, uh, shipped with the main game itself. Then it would would have man it would have been so much better. But yeah, I, I'm still happy with what we got. Was it worth the ten dollars? Absolutely. It was definitely uh, worth worth the ten dollars. There are some games that are priced uh like there's there's full games priced at i don't know how much like maybe 30 dollars or more uh that that give you less uh value and play time than what separate ways gives you uh so they did a, they did a really good job with that i'm 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 impressed hats off to them uh really fun stuff uh ada feels very uh, in my opinion, she, feel, she feels very human compared to her original iteration in the in the original uh, game. Uh, so yeah, there, there there's a there's a few stuff there's a few things to talk about here. So my my, my thoughts are like all over the place. This is this is legit. Like my just my my raw thoughts on uh, on the game, on the DLC, and what and whatnot. Uh, so there, in the original Resident Evil, it feels that there were some parts that were cut off. And the reason for that being is that they added it here in the DLC. So now it feels like you got like the, com the complete full package. For example, we didn't fight it. I, I forgot what it was called in, well, I forgot what it was called in the original Resident Evil 4, but we fought it in uh in the separate ways dlc we visited the caves there was the uh we, we call it te telephric uh the tram i guess you're on the train go you're on the tram going down and the other side the enemies are on the second tram they're coming up uh, I, I don't know what is it called the laser room heavily inspired by the movie it's it's really obvious to see awesome stuff awesome stuff it's nice to see that it's back and it, it was back in Ada's portion so it's it's pretty cool that they that it's 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 it feels like it's kind of i don't know man the whole game is just a love letter man when, when you compare it side by side to the original game and it, it's just so fun and awesome man uh the the monster whatever it was the over i called the overgrown hunter that was in the in the, in the laser section uh <laughs> that was that, that was um that, that was new I'd, I'd never seen that i don't remember seeing something like that in the original game and uh you know it's it's it's, it's, it's pretty cool you know there, there there are some things that i i didn't i didn't feel need needed answering but they answered anyway and i'm very happy that we got we got answers for that like uh for example what what happened with leon's jacket and this was also in the original game in the original separate ways where one of the ganados had it uh but it's really fun funny fun and awesome that um uh, that you can actually kill the ganado and it's part of a side quest that you can do and earn spinels for it and also, man, I gotta touch on I gotta touch on this. Uh, Ada actually has an interaction with the merchant. That was so freaking awesome to see. I was so happy with that. You, c I cannot explain and emphasize how big of a smile that put on my face. It, it, it was just, it was just so. Um, I don't know if I want to use the word wholesome, but I'll use it in this case. It, it just felt so wholesome to have someone finally interact with the merchant and have a back and forth with him, even if it was just a few lines. I'm making it sound like they had a deep conversation or something. Like they didn't, but I'm still happy about that nonetheless. Um, you know, it, I mean, not, not, not only that, but uh, you know, seeing Wesker back in action also is it was pretty cool. Uh, 
You know, I, I don't know if I want, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll also add up onto the mercenaries. I'm, I'm going to jump back and forth, so please bear with me. My, my thoughts are all over the place, and this is raw thoughts. I'm not writing a script or anything. This is just from the top of my head. So the mercenaries, the, the new free update where you get uh, Ada and Albert Wesker as playable characters. Awesome stuff. Uh, Albert Wesker is overkill, and of course we uh, we would expect no less. Uh, and Ada is, is pretty is pretty fun to use as well. She has like grappling uh, the grappling hook. Man, that that is also an, another aspect that I did not touch on in separate ways. Uh, the grappling hook adds like a whole other layer of accessibility to areas and what. Of course, it's all contextual, and that all depends what the developers would allow you to go. It's not like you can f uh, freely traverse and go full Spider Man mode or whatever. But. Uh, yeah, it, it, and they also implement it into the combat as well, and that is uh, th that is that is awesome. That is so good that they 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 did that. Uh, it's fun to shoot a uh, Ganado in the face, even if you're at a distance. You can melee him by using the grappling hook to pull yourself towards him and kick him right in the face. Uh, as well as later on, you can add a charm to your case uh, that gives you like perks and stuff. And actually use a grappling hook to pull shields away from enemies. So that makes uh, that that just that's just so fun. It, it is so satisfying to do. It saves you on 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 ammo, and it just uh, makes you feel like a real badass badass slick super spy. Uh, I kind of wish that uh, there were things where. Um, if you completed the separate ways DLC, it gives you extra items and accessories and weapons that you can use in the main game, like extra stuff like that. But unfortunately, unfortunately not. It's all exclusive to the separate ways uh, portion of it, which is which is fine. But you know, it would have been it would have been nice to see that. So yeah. So the grappling hook. Um, Grappling hook adds like a lot of dynamic to the combat and stuff. But yeah, I was talking about uh, that they should have added, or I wanted them to add uh, weapons to the main base game that you that as a reward for uh, finishing separate ways. But all those unlocks are exclu are exclusive to separate ways, and you know uh, I'll say again, it's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, a really fun time, a really good DLC. It really. The base game already felt like a complete package, but this one just makes it even, it just perfects it. Uh, there isn't an assignment ADA. I don't remember what significance, if there was any to the main story that there was with that. Uh, but I was hoping that we would see a military tactical style costume for ADA like there was in the original game with assignment ADA. Uh, we, but we can only get access to the her original costume as well as I believe her Resident Evil 2 remake um, look. So yeah, um, are what are my gripes with the DLC? Dare I say I have none? Actually, I have none. I, I just had a I had a real fun time. With the game, the game is fun in general, but uh, with the DLC, I just had a fun time from start to finish. It didn't overstay its welcome. It didn't feel uh, longer than it should have. It didn't feel shorter than it should have. It felt just right. It hit the right spot. It was even, actually, truth be told, it was even longer than I kind of thought it would have been. So, yeah, that's great. That's great. Um... It, it, there's some he heavy implications on a Resident Evil 5 remake, but that was already the case with uh, with the base game. Uh, I feel like the re next remake is going to be Code Veronica, and I feel after that's going to be 5, and who knows if they'll redo 6. Uh, but I gotta say, I honestly, like, I wholeheartedly believe that there will be a remake for Resident Evil 1, and I feel like that will be the final remake of Re Resident Evil remakes. I just have a strong feeling on that. And the reason is I feel like they're saving the best for last. And it's going to and it's kind of it's going to kind of like echo if that makes any sense in a way that okay, um it's it's ending where the whole thing starts kind of thing. 
so you know it's a it's a we're feasting well fellas we're feasting well uh my people uh as a resident evil fan we're eating real good it's a great time it's an awesome time to be a resident evil fan and it's exciting to see what the future holds for the franchise moving forward you know what not with the with the new rumors of resident evil 9 apocalypse and things like that and the code veronica remake uh, so we'll see we'll see we shall see too bad that there wasn't anything on on tgs resident evil related i'm still writing on revelations 3 and i will not shut up about that but yeah yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on it uh do i recommend it yeah of course go for it uh I, uh, for me, Resident Evil 4 base game was a 10 out of 10. This DLC for me is also a 10 out of 10. Highly recommended. Lots of bang for your buck. Totally worth the $10 entry fee. Or 11 or 12, whatever whatever it was. I think that's like included, including taxes from where, I, where I'm at. Uh, but yeah, if you're not sure whether to get it, definitely get it. Uh, support these guys and their efforts on what they do uh show them that you you know, you, you, you do good we're going to support you so that's my stance on it and it was a great time can't wait to see uh what else is in store and what else is waiting for us moving forward so yeah thanks for checking out the video uh my next a video will be on Final Fantasy 16 and my experience with that game. It's I'm three months I'm I'm three months late to the party, on talking about it. But uh, I want to talk about it as well as my journey with the platinum. It's not going to be a long video, but I want I want to give my two cents on it. Okay, thank you for checking out the video. Bye.